Good morning. This is Good News Friday, and I have an observation I want to share with you. It's about career politicians. Those who want a career. <laughs> and, you know, they had one choice in the past. They could choose the globalist road. And they would probably be fine. They would get this career. You see. But now they have a choice. They could also become populists. And I think they are considering this. And some of them actually choose the populist road these days. And I have an example of this. It's a very surprising example because it's from the Swedish Liberal Party. It's a totally globalist party. It's been for a long time. But now their chairman is resigning and they want a new one. And there are two top candidates. One man and one woman. And I told you about the man the other day. He's a globalist. He's like a loser. Really, he is. And then there's the other one, the woman. And she is different. And I want to tell you what she said in an interview. Her name is Nyamko Sabuni. And she says she believes that the goal of introducing more generous rules on migration is to create a new refugee wave. See? I mean, Salvini could have said this easily. And she says she believes that the entire asylum system must be redone so that people who are not entitled to be here also will not. In order for Sweden to succeed better with integration, she believes that the goal of a multicultural society must be buried. See? It's Salvini talk, isn't it? When it creates isolated islands of cultures. She also said this, Multiculture is not something to strive for. On the contrary, what we need is to create a sense of belonging and something that holds us together. Uh, she also, in the interview, focused on criticizing the other one, the other candidate, the globalist, for turning a blind eye to the problems in the no-go zones in Sweden. Interesting, isn't it? There's another example of this. Uh, the Christian Democrats here in Sweden, uh, they have been growing tremendously lately. And it all started when they became tougher on migration, on uh, law and order. They also said that they were willing to talk to the nationalists. That's what started it. And they, were, they have been growing and growing ever since. And then they did a mistake. They approved a, proposition, a proposal uh, to make it easier on migration. Yeah. So that more people could come to Sweden. They did. And, and now this is polls, so you can't put too much emphasis on it. But they totally crashed in the polls. They did. They lost 4% in like a month or a couple of weeks. Very quickly they lost it. So there you go. So it's the populist talk that makes uh, the difference now. Yeah, they, I think they are starting to realize this. It's very good. All right, uh, I also want to tell you about this meeting, <laughs> meeting between Donald Trump and the Irish guy, <laughs> Leo Varadkar. If you haven't watched it, I think you should. <laughs> it's brilliant. Just watching these two guys together. <laughs> yeah, great entertainment. Leo Varadkar. He's a... <laughs> I don't know what to say about this guy. Well, he looked like a little boy next to, Trump, next to Trump. A little scared boy. It was fun. And the United States President, <laughs> Donald Trump, I think he's having a ball right now. Yeah. Because he said... He was talking about Brexit and he said... 
he reassured Ireland that it has nothing to fear from Brexit. And he, he told Leo Varadkar that the border with Northern Ireland will be just fine. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah, you should watch it. Okay, finally, I just want to say some. This is a channel that I really like, and I want to tell you about it. It's Alistair Williams, uh, this comedian. He's very, very good. I really like this guy. Now, I, I'm sure many of you saw this thing that he, that he did about Brexit and the Burger King. If you haven't watched this video, you should. It's very funny. But there are other videos that he's doing. Great stuff. Especially one that I really like, where he talks about his, his job as a comedian. Maybe you'll find it and watch it. It's fantastic. Yeah, great guy. All right, and I'll put a link below so you can uh, go and see it if you want. Okay, that's all. Have a great weekend. Bye.